Well, friends in uh, Alpha Group, I'm fixing to go through your paper and give you some insight into what we need to do in order to improve the, the paper. We're going to learn to write at a scholarly level, and the only way to do that is to do it. <laughs> so you just had to put forth stuff, let me shred it, and then we'll, we'll fix it, which that's the way the process works. Uh, I've added some issues here. Lavelle Hendricks will be your faculty mentor, uh, mentor once we get something that we can actually send to him. And note the, the writing of Texas A&M University Commerce. I had I corrected that for you. Uh, I want you to put your title up here. Your first paragraph is a little weak. First of all, it and it. Are not, uh, are not things that you need to use as subjects. Uh, you might look at the paper Alpha 1 that Kenneth submitted, because I think he had basically a pretty good uh, opening paragraph with a little bit of work. Now, this study will target schools with higher percentage. That's not what this study is going to do. This study is going to compare uh, district ratings, compare the variables of, of ethnicity across district ratings that are given by the, in the AEIS system. Now, you have a lot of quotes, and really, you don't need to do a lot of quotes. Tell them what the researchers said. Uh, quotes are best avoided if possible. Uh, this is how the school receives their rating is a little bit weak as a statement, so you need to, you need to strengthen that. Rewrite that phrase. Um, here we have again more quotes. Uh, I don't, I really don't like that. You have a lot of value statements in this paragraph, but but who's the source of these value statements? You you have these quotes, and we don't know who they came from. Uh, I, I guess I can accept them, but but I want to know the source. They should have come from your literature, and you have to document that in each paragraph. I really don't like starting out with the problem is so bad that. Uh, you, may, you, you need to be less judgmental than that. Uh, that's a very biased statement. Uh, so you need to work on that. Uh, here's some more things with these quotes. This long quote. Don't give me a long quote. Tell me what they said. Now, you go on to say, so the real question at the heart of this study is this. If the current system of educational assessment is flawed in its ability to provide a valid measure of educational quality and equality among ethnic minorities, what are some positive alternatives that can help alleviate such flaws? Your paper is really not providing those alternatives. Your paper is doing a comparative of, of uh, the different ratings to look to see if differences exist in those uh, minority percentages. And once we, if we discover that they do, then we may go back to the literature to talk about some of the things that can be done. But your paper actually focuses on comparing those ethnicities across the groups. Well, I know you probably feel like I've shredded you, and, and I may have, but that's good for you. That's how you learn to write. If you fix the things that I've told you to fix, then your paper will be much stronger. I want you to go back and look at, look at the work that Kenneth did, look at what you have. You have two papers, and you integrate those together and be very, very sensitive to what can be uh, equated to racist-type remarks. Uh, some of the remarks you don't mean that way, but they can certainly be read that way. Be very sensitive to those issues.